know, when I uh, come out and play hockey, old timers two nights a week this year, I'm gonna look around at these seats and say, hey, I did something. Every dream begins somewhere. And for Ken Sinclair and the Dryden Recreation Extension and Modification Group, also known as Dream, the work to enhance the local arena has begun. What we're doing today, uh, as you stand around, we're rearranging the seats by color. And what we're finding, it makes the uh, Memorial Arena look much neater than kind of a scattered look of all the different colors. It's the first part to a grander scheme, organizing the arena seats to color, a task kicking on by the Dream Group, along with the help of local volunteers. The arenas in Dryden have given me a lot of pleasure over the years, so I thought I'd be happy to volunteer and kind of help out with uh, the seating plan. When I come down here and I see kids playing hockey and doing all the things that I did as a kid, it, it brings me a lot of pleasure. And So if I can help out in any way, it's, uh, it's a bonus for, for somebody down the line. I mean, it goes back to uh, 1978. Uh, with a group of volunteers, we opened the Dryden Golf and Curling Club. The fall of 79, the Memorial Arena opened. Now, how did a small community of Dryden manage to do two big projects within a calendar year? volunteerism. The whole thing that we need to start to do in, with our facilities, and we're certainly doing it with baseball and, and soccer, is we need more volunteers. The arena is basically 38 years old, but this whole complex is probably worth 40 million dollars. So right now it needs a little help. While organizing the seats helps aesthetically, this just scratches the surface of what the Dream Group hopes to accomplish at the local arena through fundraising and government grants. The federal government and the provincial government will make an announcement later this month on recreational facility funding. We figure we need about $870,000 to put a 2,200 square foot addition on arena number two, which will have three ladies girls dressing rooms, plus a poor multi-use dressing room, plus a ladies uh, referee's room. Above that will be storage and a mechanical room and a viewing area uh, into arena number two. We've applied for two different uh, grants, one on accessibility uh, to redo the public washrooms in arena number one uh, to make them totally handicapped up to 2016 building standards. The second uh, grant that we've applied for is to redo our lobby and create for our seniors that are walking in the wintertime is to create 12 exercise stations within the lobby and the entrance where you'd stop at a certain colored flooring and you do exercise number one or exercise number two. Uh, so that would mean redoing the whole lobby, we've got new ceiling, new floors, everything. If we get one of these grants, say we get the grant for the 12 exercise stations, then we put in the application form so many in-kind hours or volunteer hours. So yeah, we could use some teenagers uh, to help rip out the old sports flooring. You know, we're going to need uh, some people that are skilled at, at getting on hydraulic lifts to take down the ceiling, that type of thing. So it really, you know, can be the whole gambit. To find out more about Dryden's Dream Project and how you can help, visit their Facebook page by searching Dryden Recreation Extension and Modification Project. I think it's time for us to get involved again and look after our. Memorial Arena and our fitness center and uh, the future holds well. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Tommy Johnson.